Okay, so I'm going to show you how to um, use Google Classroom instead of your classes. So first thing I always do is I just Google Google Classroom and the link that appears at the top is is the one that you is the one that you want to use. And then it comes up with Google Classroom, you can go to Classroom and it should at some point ask you to log in. Okay, now that's my personal address, but if I go to my school email, for you the first time it might ask you to put your Google Apps password in as well. The other way you can find it is by clicking here and searching down until you find Classroom. Now, you won't have all these screens, I've set up my classes here, but you'll get this You'll get this top bar and then it'll probably be blank, the rest of it. So if you hit plus, you can add a new, a new class and you want to go to create class. And so I'll do a S class. And I'll just create that. So here we are, test class appears. Now, it very helpfully does things like this and it tells you how to invite students to your class. So I always get the students in the IT room and I get them to go to Google Classroom and then select join a class and then they have to put in this class code here that you can enlarge and put on the board. And they will sign up with their Google accounts and they will then select their class. Once they are in, you then have various things that you can do. The classwork at the top, you can set, you can look at the people in your class and your marks that you've set. Them. So if I go to my A class, they get a little feed down here of classwork, of, of an announcement. Now, I can then set work for them through the classroom. So if I want to set a new piece of work, if I click create assignment and I can then call it, so I've got this one test assignment. What I can, and then please Please complete the following work. You can then add in something from Google Drive. You could add a link from say quizzes or um, another website. You can add a file, so you can just upload something off your computer or you can put a link in from YouTube. So I click Google Drive and I all my Google Drive things appear, and I might then just find, uh, I don't know, um, something on Spitz. Okay, so this piece of work here, and it adds the document here. I can then choose what happens to the student's work. Students can just view the file, so if it's something I don't want the students to edit, they can just um, look at what I've put up. If you want students to edit the files, so you want to do a collaborative piece of work where they all edit the same thing, you select that option. And if you want each student to create their, have their own version of it, and so you might create like a worksheet um, with some questions on, you can select make a copy for each student. And um, what you can then do is if you want to set the um, amount of points you might award for it, for it to be marked, you can do that. If you set a due date, so if I set it for a week for today, and then topic, and you might, it might come with a certain topic within your subject there. And then this one is really interesting, a rubric. You can um, create your marking criteria. I'm going to just click reuse rubric just for the sake of um, I really only use it for one thing. <clears throat> but what I end up with, I hope to show you, is you could set it up that they get four points for achieving this, three points for achieving this, and one point for achieving this. So when they when you come to mark it, you can click which criteria best fits that student's piece of work. 
If you want to, you can click originality reports, what Google Classroom does. You could select a piece of work and it will check Google for how well the pupil's originality is effectively a plagiarism check. So you could add that in as well if you want. Um, and then you hit sign. And then when the pupils get that piece of work, it appears on their main screen. So if we go back to stream, you see here, I posted a new assignment called test assignment. Um, when it comes to marking something like that, if we look at uh, this one here, I can view the assignment that I set and the marks that you give them. So if I want to see Akshan's work, The piece of work is here, so there's his microclimates work. If I click on that, it will open it. He's uploaded it. And then as I mark it, I'm selecting the right rubric from the section on the right side. And that essentially is how to use Google Classroom.